Chapter 7 Evening Success Rituals In this video, I will share with you the evening success rituals for going to bed every night, feeling fulfilled, with a big smile on your face. These rituals are the follow-up to your morning rituals to reflect and celebrate after your day's activities. While morning rituals are highly encouraged to be incorporated into everyone's daily routine, the evening rituals are equally important to get the most out of your day. After all, there's no point to start off a race full of energy, but no idea how to end it. So I don't want you to miss this crucial part to inspire your success and celebrate it. You may be consistently crushing your goals one after another, but unless you take the time to celebrate every victory in your life, then you're definitely not getting the most out of your day and missing out on a lot of magic moments and sense of fulfillment that you should be experiencing at this moment. Here are the evening success rituals that I highly recommend incorporating into your evening routine. 1. Empowering evening questions. 2. Seizing your magic moments. 3. Celebrate. 1. Empowering Evening Questions At the beginning of the evening success rituals, the main focus is to reflect your day. And the best way to reflect is to ask powerful questions, not just any questions that beat yourself up. I call these powerful questions empowering evening questions, designed to help you reflect on your entire day and come up with constructive ideas to shape a better tomorrow. So the first thing you should do is to find a quiet place where you won't be easily disturbed and distracted for a set amount of time in order to go deep into your daily reflection. Did you know that the questions you ask determine what you focus on? That's the reason why the type of questions you ask yourself is extremely important. Ask a lousy question and you'll feel lousy. Ask a good question and you will feel amazing. The fact is, there's always good and bad in each day, and what you ask yourself decides what you'll focus on each night before hitting the sack. What you focus on determines how you feel about that particular day. Since there's always good and bad, why not be proactive and decide that you only want to acknowledge the good that happened that day? Since you can decide how you're going to feel at the end of the day, why not choose to feel good instead of bad? Guess what happens if you constantly ask yourself empowering evening questions? Every day will be an awesome day for you and you'll always feel like a rock star. Now, think of the level of accomplishments, productivity, and fulfillment you'll experience every day. I'll let you know about mine. Phenomenal! In fact, there's no such thing as a bad day. It all starts with your focus, and these empowering evening questions will help you do just that. Here's a list of questions that you can ask yourself every evening. What was fantastic about today? What did I learn today? What am I grateful for today? What was my biggest accomplishment for today? What would make today great? Don't just write down all your answers. Try to feel the emotions and energy coursing through your veins as you read out your answers out loud. Do this with level 10 intensity. Move, gesture, and smile widely as you answer them. Allow yourself to feel proud, excited, happy, loved, appreciated, etc. Trust me, you'll be amazed by what this simple exercise can do to your physical and emotional well-being. The more juice you'll get from the Empowering Evening Questions exercise. 2. Seizing Your Magic Moments After you've gone through the empowering evening questions exercise, you'll be in an incredible state, but you don't want to stop right there. You should take this opportunity to seize these emotions and feelings by journaling all your successes, accomplishments, and magic moments. Otherwise, they'd be forgotten. So take out a journal and write down everything that happened on that day. List down everything you had done and all the powerful moments that you want to remember later on. Time passes by so fast, and we easily forget to, to really take in and appreciate the little things. At the end of your life, 
You won't be able to remember everything, but only certain moments. So I want to encourage you to take your time and capture all your successes and magic moments into your journal. One day, when you're feeling down and you see no hope in life, you have a journal to go back to and remind yourself of all the magic moments that you once had and realize that your life is actually more incredible than you think. By journaling your magic moments, you'll be aware of what you were doing with your time and celebrate your victory. 3. Celebrate! Last but not least, celebrate! Celebrate your day to your heart's content. You deserve it! This is a powerful way to positively reinforce yourself. Don't beat yourself up for things you didn't do, tasks you procrastinated, food you shouldn't eat, etc. Because that's what most people do, which prompts them to feel awful and guilty about themselves. To make things worse, they repeat this process every day and they end up in a downward spiral that sets themselves up for more failures. Why bring so much pain in your life when there are so many good things that happen every day? Why not start recognizing and celebrating all the good that happened that day? What gets rewarded gets repeated. Did you know that when you celebrate your victory often, you'll invite more amazing things into your life? And soon, you'll be conditioned to notice the good in every little thing that happens in your life. And soon, you'll develop powerful habits such as gratitude, consistency, tenacity, and self-discipline. So, how do you celebrate? You really don't have to complicate things. Celebrating means giving yourself pleasure. It could be as simple as patting yourself on the back and saying to yourself, good job. Or treat yourself to a whole hearty meal, giving thanks, listening to your favorite music, or meditating with gratitude. The key is to give yourself pleasure. Oftentimes, we wait for others to praise, acknowledge, and reward us in order to feel happy, appreciated, and fulfilled. Why not be proactive and reward yourself when you can choose to be happy right now?